हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज रीति रविंद्र फड़के एंड आई हैव स्कोर्ड 98.80 परसेंट इन स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ नाउ आई एम हियर टू टेल यू सम टिप्स राइट बिफोर गोइंग टू द एग्जामिनेशन ऑन द एग्जाम डे यू हैव टू स्टडी फॉर फाइव टू एट फाइव टू एट इज आर स्टडी टाइम स्टडी योर माइक्रोवर्ड्स विच यू हैव रिमूव टू स्टडी बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन हाउ मच यू स्टडी बिफोर इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट वॉट यू रिवाइज इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट फाइव टू एट यू हैव टू स्टडी and 8 to 9 you can have your breakfast and other daily chores which you do daily uh, 9 to 10 is the most precious time before going to the examination 9 to 10 should be your most concentrated time and you have to concentrate all the micro notes all the small small details which are very important for your examination and 10 to uh, 10:30 is the journey to exam hall which you have to be very confident and very sure about your examination This is about the thing when you're going before the examination. Now, when you come after the examination, you're going to get ready for your second examination, that is your second paper. You, uh, what things you have to do after your first examination? Eleven to two is your exam. Two to three, you can have your lunch. You can, ha- and then three to six, you can have your rest. Rest, sleep is very important for the students who are going to attempt the exams of standard tenth and twelfth. it is because your stress level will be very high in those days and that is the time when you need very utmost rest and if you don't have rest then your study may affect due to this so 3 to 6 is the rest which is mandatory 6 to 11 30 is the study time which you have to be most concentrated and whatever micro notes whatever papers you have solved whatever your notes whatever your question answers whatever it is your sums This is the time when you have to give to your studies, six to eleven thirty. Eleven thirty to twelve, you can have your supper. What is supper? Supper is light dinner or light things which you have to eat. Don't eat heavy things during your examination. This is because, uh, according to my experience, I had had a heavy dinner and due to which my stomach was upset during right before the examination, and to some extent it had affected my studies. so it is my humble uh, request to your parents and to you especially to have just a supper a light dinner not to have a heavy dinner then uh, 11 to uh, 11:30 to 12 you can have your supper and 12 to 5 is sleep for those students of standard 10 5 to 4 hours sleep is enough you don't have according to doctors 8 hours sleep is must but this is your exam time Four to five hours sleep is mostly enough. That this is the time. This you can sleep. Now after the examination, you can have your lots of sleeps. But during the examination, this is the time you have to give to your studies. So twelve to five is your sleeping time. Then, as you all know, you have a holiday before the examination. One or two days holiday is there, and this holiday you have to plan according to your studies. It is your study pattern. How you follow this exam, whatever your uh, topics are lagged behind, you can cover up in these holidays. and according to my uh, view uh, study those topics which you are comfortable with start with those topics which are comfortable with don't go for the topics which are not even touched this is thing because whatever you have studied before go to that thoroughly and if you get time go for the things which you have not done yet so this is that uh, uh, holiday day you can plan according to your study pattern that is your own wish and then again the next exam the exam day you can follow the same pattern get up at 5 o'clock 5 to 8 your studies 8 to 9 your breakfast and other things then 9 to 10 your study micro notes micro notes in the sense very detailed study and very concentrated study and then 8 to 10 30 your journey to examination and 10 30 to 11 will be the time when the paper will be in your hand and you have to go to your examination be confident be sure and give your best and winning is not important but trying to win is really very important all the best thank you